Hi, welcome to uh, Cubs and Culture for May 4th, 2018. The Cubs lost today 3-2. Quintana was trying to be 2-5, blocked a bunch of people, only went four innings. Um, a couple of fielding errors behind him, then a three-run homer, and that was the difference maker. Uh, against This was against the Cardinals, but as I said multiple times, Run one run games are essentially random. So over the course of 162 games, it will normalize to uh, 500 unless you're incredibly unlucky or incredibly lucky. With that being said, the Cubs' offense is completely dormant. They haven't scored. Uh, they haven't scored more than like two runs in nine games. <laughs> um, so I I think it's just. Yeah, everyone's out of sync again. It will eventually turn. Um, someone connected to the Cardinals, Albert Pujols, um, got 3,000 hits today. Uh, opposite field single. Um, oh yeah, then the other thing is Ichiro is actually um, transitioned into a front office role, which makes me really, really sad. Um, he was 40, he's 44, so uh, he's just time finally caught up with him. See what else. Um, uh, I'm about halfway through my Martians video. I keep promising to get it up, but I will. Um, let's see. Um, that's going to be pretty much it. I'm tired. Um, it's been a weird couple of days at work. We were. Uh, the store I work at is adding bread to the um, not being vendors, being us. So we got my first delivery of bread today. Um, so there's that. Uh, all, all the Cubs fans are freaking out. I really should make a stoic, um, a Cubs, a stoic um, Cubs fan group where you just, just okay. So one of the things I like about baseball is because there's so many games. Uh, you can you again you can expect at least forty losses any given year. It's just the nature of the beast. <laughs> um, so one of the things that why I'm a little bit more even keel uh, than other Cubs fans is I just assume that they're going to be like no hit and get blown out. Um, um, so like today when they lo lost three two, I was like, well at least it was three two. We have a one run win coming down later. Um, and the road, so there's this thing in um, Seneca sort of recommended doing this. If you assume the worst, um, um, like if you just wake up every morning thinking you're going to get hit by a car or you'll get HIV or whatever, whatever your worst case scenario is, um, <laughs> then when that doesn't happen, your day seems better because it's not the worst. Um, and so... Um, there's that sort of um, uh, orientation to the world where you don't really try to become like the outcome, become unattached to outcome. Um, and so when life, like life, ends up being better because it's not the worst case scenario you can think of, um, and that's what you're expecting. Uh, the, the other way you can try to do is just try, try to have expectations, which is hard to do because we're. Um, Human beings are so outcome oriented. Um, I feel like I'm just rambling philosophical mumbo jumbo at this point. So, uh, have a good day. Cubs and culture out.